Artificial intelligence. Why? Because for the first time in the history of humanity, we have some entity that uh, interact with us at the same level of intelligence, or perhaps in the future even higher level of intelligence. This means that we are not alone anymore. That we we, we need to to, to relate. Um, ourselves with an exterior form of intelligence. This will make for the necessity for us to evolve much quicker and for sure to evolve much quicker than the slow pace that Darwin so well explained, the slow pace of nature. So probably we, we will need to evolve genetically um, or perhaps that's another possibility, to combine ourselves with machines and being a kind of cyborgs. Artificial creativity, in a way similar to intelligence. But for me, creativity is a process that we can find everywhere in nature, in, in life and in matter. Life is very creative, as we know. So, creativity is, an, is a natural process. So we can simulate this process in machines and in robots. As an artist, I've tried to demonstrate that, that it was possible to have robots making something that we could call creative. Creative in the sense that it didn't exist before. So it was something new, some innovation, if you want. Of course, uh, if we call art or not to that, that's a, another question. It's not the question of the process itself, it's more the co question of human culture. As we know, art, when art is real, innovative, uh, starts for not being accepted, for being rejected. But after a while, the, uh, the, the society evolves and uh, finishes by integrating what first rejected. Emergence. Emergence is a quite complex concept, but is a concept that is fundamental in, for almost everything. Uh, emergence is the basic process of nature, uh, also of living uh, uh, entities as on in material uh, things. Emergence uh, is based on a very simple principle. It's, it starts with very simple rules and some kind of interaction, random interaction, but after a while it produces a kind of order that it didn't exist before. So in, uh, emergence is an example of an innovative process by itself, because it generates innovation where before there was only chaos. Robots. Robots are in fact the embodiment of artificial and creative, uh, artificial intelligence and creative, uh, uh, artificial creativity. Robots are creatives, are, are something real that, that exists in the physical world. Um, they have some advantage uh, of, for example, computers because they have sensors, they sense the real uh, environment. And this is very important to develop some skills, to learn and to involve in, in creativity and intelligence. Robots are good and bad. Some aspects are negative because as robots are replacing humans uh, in doing many tasks that humans are today the only ones able to, to do, they are generating social problems, unemployment 
and uh, it's many studies say that in a few years half of the population will have nothing to do and this is a real uh, issue anyway uh, here also I think we must come with new ideas with innovation uh, we are now evolving in a kind of symbiosis between humans and robots we should think how to improve that because only by working together it's we can avoid the negative aspects of robots art art as i've said uh, it's a form of creativity, it's an expression of creativity. So we can simulate it, uh, it in robots, as I've been doing for many years. However, uh, in the future probably we will only be doing things that robots cannot do. Uh, and although uh, robots can make some kind of art, I, I think that we should look at art and science at a different level. Not so much the level of making things, of making objects, of making paintings, but of creating strategies, of creating processes, because that's probably something that robots for many times will not be able to do. So art can be a solution for some problems that robots will create.